What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack. This is Jack Reacts, and today we got a very, very special, very highly requested video, one that I've been meaning to get to for a long time now. Today we got Nas, The Message. Very excited to get into this one. It is off the It Was Written album. I believe I've done maybe one or two tracks off this project, and they were both fire. My anticipation is real high right now. Got the lyrics pulled up, of course. As always, y'all know the drill. If I miss anything, I probably will. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments below. Let me know any more context to the song as well. Y'all's interpretations, whatever the case. I love reading y'all's comments. And if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment your requests down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you'd like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link and bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But without further ado, let's go and get into it. Fake dog, no love, we get the slug, see before gusto, your luck go. I didn't know till I was drunk though. You freak niggas played out, get fucked and made out. Prostitute turned bitch, I got the gauge out. 96 ways I made out. Montana way, the good F E L L A. Burger spray, tip the tatch, jump out the range, empty out the ashtray. A glass is a making mad cashes, clay, red dot plots, murder schemes, 32 shotguns. Regulate with my thun, 17 rocks clean for one ring. They let me let y'all niggas know one thing. One life, one love, so they can only be one king. The highlights of living. Okay. Stab old dice and linen. And terror spinning on millenniums. 20 G bets, I'm winning them. Threats, I'm sending them. Legs from TV sets, the minimum. Ill sex, adrenaline, party with villains. A case of demi sect to chase the hidden weapons. Wait, with the semi tech, who want it? Diamonds, I'm flaunting. Chicken heads, flock, I lace them. Fried royal with basil, taste them. Crack the legs, way out of formation. It's horizontal, how I have them. Fucking me in the bench wagon. Can it be vanity? Damn. Grab your gun, it's on though. Shit is grimy. Real niggas fucking broad daylight. With the broke Mac, it won't spray right. Don't give a fuck what they hit. As long as the drama's lit. Yo, overnight, those mm. buggers, they ain't promise shit. Hungry ass hooligans, stay on that piranha shit. Okay. The New York State of Mind sample. I did that one a little while back too. Pause it at the course. Okay, pause it right here before we get into the next verse. Th this, mmm. You know what? I'm not surprised though because every Nas verse I've done has been fire. But it doesn't mean I'm not impressed. This was incredible. So to me, it sounds like he's really talking up himself. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a good way. Like he's declaring himself as king in New York. I know he mentioned that somewhere uh, in this verse i know a lot of rappers have said they're king in new york i'm pretty sure biggie has said that a few times obviously re referencing the the movie king in new york that's a great movie by the way if y'all haven't seen it uh, i think jay-z said it too it it's a popular phrase but i don't think it's very deserving of most of the people they say Nas is an exception to that i think Nas is someone who can most definitely say I'm the king of New York and it, and it stick and people would agree with that. I would agree with that. But I loved all the different references or Scarface references, Goodfellow references. Pretty sure there were a couple Godfather references in there as well. Casino references. I'm pretty sure I caught. Nas always has to come through with the, the mob movie references. But one line that stuck out to me, he said, there's one life, one love, so there can only be one king. So again, going with what I said, like he's declaring himself as king. And to me, this verse is really painting that picture of success, especially when you come from that place of poverty. The the, the theme that's prevalent throughout this is that paranoia, which going with the, the Scarface reference he mentioned in the beginning of his verse. Obviously, if you've seen the movie Scarface, you know that's probably the biggest theme of that movie as well is paranoia. You come from, you know, a, a low place underground and you got all your homeboys, your friends around you. But when you come up, that's when envy and jealousy comes and, you know, they don't want to see you win. He talks about all the, the luxury and the lavish lifestyle he lives. But then at the end mentions, you know, something about piranhas and they'll eat you up. And then the chorus saying, I never sleep because sleep is the cousin of death. That's some powerful stuff right there. I, I like how he phrased that. That being said, I don't mean to talk too long. Let's go and get back to it. I beat you frontin'. I was in a Jeep sunk in the seat. Tenant with heat. Beats bumpin'. A 
across the street, you was wildin'. Talking about how you ran to Allen in 89. Playing up, playing the yard with crazy shit. I caught the 89, that nigga great mind clean. What was he thinking on? You heard it caught? Talking about that envy right there. There was your homeboys once. No, now they're trying to kill you. That's crazy. And that sample is fire. That beat. Ugh. Who produces? Let me know. Shout out Queens Bridge and the firm. That's what's up. Gotta touch on this third verse though, bro. Come on. He really told an entire story and made every line rhyme. And not only did it rhyme, but the flow was impeccable and the syllables and cadences, they matched. That, that's one thing that's underrated. It's not about just rhyming the last word of each sentence. It's about there's rhymes in between the bars. There are syllables and cadences that match that of the next line. And he, he did that perfectly. That second verse might be a top three Nas verse I heard. I really mean that. Wow. I didn't even look at the lyrics once on that. And Y'all know I have a hard time sometimes listening to lyrics. I didn't even look at them once. It's just because it, it, he painted such a vivid picture. I didn't need to. So basically he's saying he, he got shot. Basically someone tried to catch him slipping. They almost did. He got hit, but in the leg, went to the hospital, got out, backtracked his steps, trying to figure out, you know, how did I almost get got? So then he asked one of his homeboys what happened. And then they, they, they like basically made up some story. They, they saw a brown uh, Dotson. But nobody's got one, so he know he knew he was lying. He knew he got set up. That's what he's talking about, that jealousy, that envy. You know, people used to be cool with, you know, now, that, now they're trying to kill you. They're trying to stab you in the back. That's crazy. I love how he painted that picture. I'm overwhelmed, really. Very, very impressed by this. And I went in with my expectations very high, and he still managed to uh, exceed them. So... Much respect and props to Nas for this one. And not only did, and not only was the message powerful, but this just sounded incredible. Again, that instrumental is fire. Let me know who produced it. For sure, going on my playlist, you already know. Come on now. Appreciate y'all recommending me this one. But that's all I got to say about it. And on that note, if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment any requests down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you'd like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link and bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in. And peace.